Hi my friends and everybody. Welcome to GMK World Channel. This is Gundam Universe Session. Today, we will present a complete summary of Universal Century 0089. In the Universal Century 0089 will relate with Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta. In the Universal Century 0089, having been defeated by the Zeta Gundam, Mashimer Cello seizes an opportunity to strike back. As Judao Ashton and his friends search for the Argama, they happen to spot Mashimer launching into battle. Not wanting to be beaten to the prize, Judao grabs onto Mashimer's Gallus J, hoping to stop it. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 4. Junk dealer Jean and Bajak comes to Mashimer Cello, promoting his self-built Mobile Suit Gs. With two Gaza CS as escorts, Jimin heads out to attack the Argama. But on the way, he spots a giant ZG drawn in a schoolyard by Shinta and Kum. Taking it as a written challenge from the Zeta Gundam, he changes course and heads for the school. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 5. Mashimer begins his clumsy attack and is sought to lure out the Zeta, since there's no qualified Zeta pilot available. Fa goes to combat Mahimer in the Methus, and Bicha goes to retrieve Judao. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 6. Judao manages to sortie with the Zeta, and, with Ru's help, defeats the Gaza Squadron, which shocks Mashimer. Ru introduces herself as a new recruit sent by the Levian Rose supply ship to help the Argama, and with Bright deciding it is time to leave the colony for threat of another attack, and Judao assuring Bright that he will get the colony hatch open. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 7. Judao comes to their defense in the Zeta, killing German in the process, and then proceeding to battle Yazin, with Yazin blaming Judao for all of his misfortunes and matching Judao blow for blow. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 8. Judao fights against Mashimer in his Hama Hama, and Ru succeeds in tricking Gleamy to free her, while disabling his Gaza, but sparing him as thanks for his kindness. Mashimer proceeds to attack Ru, but she is saved by Judao, who forces Mashimer to retreat with Gleamy, but not before gloating to Judao about a spy on board the Argama. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 9. The first to present evidence that Ru is beginning to harbor romantic feelings for Judao. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 11. Lina and Ru decide to guard the Levian Rose instead, but it soon comes under attack from the Endra. Gleamy launches and confronts Ru, wanting to pay her back from their last encounter, while Judao, upon hearing that Lina is on the battlefield, rushes to aid them and save Lina. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 12. The Argama is stormed by warriors who fear their mobile suits, believing them to be gods, and so the crew dismantles the Double Zeta to appease them. Jujua receives the core units to form the Double Zeta and defeats the Gazas while apprehending Chara, but fails to save Lina. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 14. The Axis plan to blow up the colony fails, and Gotten is killed. Cecilia sacrifices herself in order to save the civilian transport ship Cassiopeia when she discovers that the suitcase she brought on board with her was actually a bomb. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 21. Heyman lets him aboard and wants to personally take him to Lina. On the way she says that they're the same type of person, both new types, but Judao isn't interested, and Heyman tells him that Lina isn't there. She tries to convince Judao that they're not enemies, and partially succeeds while moving in to kiss him, until some guards come and interrupt. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 22. The attack of an underwater squadron against the Argama. Judao tries to stop that, but fails. While this was going on, Klee found her way onto the core fighter, and arrives just in time to rescue Judao. He successfully defeats all the marine suits. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 24. The Nahalar Gama draws near to the neo Zeon stronghold of Side 3. Heading to resupply them, Emery aboard the Levian Rose carelessly sends out an optical signal that gives away their position. This is picked up by the 3D unit, subordinates of Mashimer piloting the new mobile armor Jammer Finn, who launch an attack. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 38. 
Heading for side 3, the Natalar Gama rescues an old civilian transport being attacked by Zekas. Aboard the old transport is Sarasa and Rasara of the Light Tribe. However, among the civilian refugees aboard are neo zean soldiers and Haman in disguise, having secreted herself into the crowd in order to make contact with Judao. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 39. The Natalar Gama docks at the neutral colony to Gerbaum, which is controlled by the influential Stampa Halloy. Stampa takes El, Rosara, and other girls he likes for his harem. Judao and Ieno disguise themselves as girls in order to infiltrate Stampa's estate and rescue them. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 40. Sensing Heyman's evil mind, Sarasov and Rosara go into the colony with Mondo. But along the way, Stampa's Zgok appears, and Rosara sacrifices herself to protect Mondo. Thinking that Heyman was behind it, Judao marches into Stampa's estate. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 41. Judao and the others infiltrate the docked mining asteroid Cicero in Core 3 Sector. There they find Chara soon commanding the workers. Although they join in a nascent revolt, the workers still don't entirely trust Judao. At the same time, Li 2 enters Cicero as well. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 42. The neo zean forces move in to put down the Cicero uprising. Li 2 moves out, having received orders from Gleamy to assassinate Heyman Karn. However, she lets the captive Lucina escape. A change has come over her personality. Judao rescues El and the others from Heyman's mansion, then confronts Fleet 2 in the Cubely MK2 dot. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 43. Using the revolt against Heyman to take control of Axis, Gleamy battles Chara's fleet. Judao and Ru use the chance to sneak into Core 3 in order to kidnap Maneva, but fail. As the Nahalar Gama appears to be supporting Heyman's side, Plea 2 approaches in the new Mobile Armor Queen Monza. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 44. The final battle begins between Heyman's forces with Mashimur and Gleamy's. The Nahalar Gama, taking this chance to first strike at Gleamy, launches the Gundam team. Amidst the free-for-all, Mashimur in a Zaku 3 custom, loses control of his over-enhanced mental powers, and is lost to the stars. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 45. Leamy plays his trump card and sends his new type unit into battle. He then makes to smash Axis's asteroid Musa into Heyman's fleet. Judao chases the now mentally unstable Fleet 2 into Axis, and confronts both Leamy and Fleet 2 in the Queen Monza. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 46. Hoping that a one-on-one -on -one battle with Heyman will end the conflict, Judao launches in the Double Zeta. Heyman 2 flies out to meet him alone in her white Kugli. In the face of the Kugli's furious assault, Judao's back is pushed to the wall. But protected by the wills of many people, he rises to face Heyman. This story happened in Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta Episode 47. Finally, this is Gundam Universe Session for Universal Century Timeline, Episode 5. Thank for watching. For news and more information, please subscribers GMK World Channel.